Hi, I'm Lorette Willis with Praise Moves Fitness. I'm excited to share with you Lesson 1 on Christian Meditation. Now, we're going to talk about some of the problems of stress and what this can mean for you. What is stress? How does it affect your body? What are some of the symptoms of stress as well as what are some common myths and misconceptions about stress. We're also going to be covering ways that you can overcome stress and one of those ways is through meditation but not just any meditation because there are a lot of meditation techniques out there that are not Bible based and we're going to discuss that and what the dangers of that may be. So if you've wondered is meditation for me? Is it in the Bible? Is that something that uh, is good for me? We're going to discuss that. In fact, Joshua 1 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. Why? So that you can observe to do all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous then you will have good success. And that was God himself speaking to Joshua in Joshua 1.8. You're going to know how to meditate biblically by the end of this course. It is going to be an easy thing for you, a delightful thing. I promise you it will be well worth the time that you invest in getting to know the Lord better through Christ-centered meditation. Okay, now let's go ahead and start, dive in, and let's find out more about stress and Christian meditation. Lesson one, Christian meditation. Yeah, it's active. I like saying that. It's not passive. Now be sure that you have the printout for the lesson that I sent to your inbox. And don't worry, if you don't have it, uh, you can just use a notebook. But I think that it will be helpful if you do have the printout because there are some prompts and things that will help you. Many of us have heard that expression, I'm too blessed to be stressed. That would be nice. Um, however, we do experience stress. It's a part of life. You know, God wants us to move, and so we have stress kind of built in that's a natural stress that impels us to do something with our life. The problem is when we have too much stress and what that does to us physiologically and psychologically. Here are six common myths about stress, that everyone reacts to stress in the same ways. They don't. Um, successful people have little or no stress. That's not true. It's obvious when someone is experiencing stress. That's not true either. It can be a silent thing that's going on on the inside of someone, just kind of like bubbling like a pot on the inside. Some stress reduction techniques work for everyone. No, they don't. Only people with higher responsibilities have stress. That's not true. Even children have stress. The more hours you work, the more stress you will have. Well, like the song goes, that ain't necessarily so. It depends upon how you're dealing with things during the hours that you do work. I just love this picture. But more than that, I love the word of God from Isaiah 26, verse 3, that says, You will keep him or her in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. That's so important to keep your mind stayed, focused, steadied on the Lord. And you're going to learn how to do that with Christian meditation. Now, Christian or biblical meditation, what is it? Well, it's not guided imagery, visualizations, out-of-body experiences. I did all of that in the New Age movement when I was involved in yoga in the New Age for 22 years from the ages of seven until I was 29 years old. I had experienced a lot of that. And you know, I'm passionate about this, uh, about real biblical meditation, what the Bible says, what God says, because I see so much of the opposite out there and it really irks me. <laughs> you know, it grieves my spirit that people are undergoing subconscious suggestion and hypnosis and yet Yes, mental manipulation and calling it Christian meditation. It is not. It is hypnosis and that is not 
what God calls meditation. He wants you to have an active, engaged mind, not a passive, empty mind <laughs> experience. Christian meditation is very different from Eastern meditation and mystical experiences. It requires a fully engaged mind, an active mind, not passive, not an empty mind. God wants you to be fully involved with him and his word. Well, I hope that was helpful for you, learning more about Christian meditation. If you want something that's kind of all put together for you, Go ahead, take a look. I'm soaking in the Psalms where you can just meditate on the Word of God, hear beautiful music. I've created kind of a visual for you so that you can get an idea of how to take the Word of God personally. Okay, so in, enjoy that. Get ready for lesson two. I'll be back uh, to share more with you about the power of Christian meditation. May God richly bless you.